Hi everyone! Many of you jump right into the game and try drifting without understanding a few important basics. If you choose a front-wheel drive car like a Civic as your first car, it's not going to drift like a rear-wheel drive car would. Only rear-wheel drive cars can drift in the traditional sense. You can drift an all-wheel drive car, but it's more like a rally-style drift. Also, all stock cars come with grip tires, which aren't ideal for drifting. And the real problem is, all stock cars in Park Street don't have much steering angle, which is why you often spin out while drifting. To increase the steering angle, it's simple. Go to the tuning shop and install new front suspension arms. Some of you might think that just upgrading the engine for more power would do the trick, but it's not that simple. So today, I won't be making any upgrades to the engine. Alright, let's move on to the suspension section and take a look at the front suspension arms. If you look at the right panel, you'll see the steering angle displayed as 40. As you can see, there are many grades here, but I've only unlocked two of them. The better the grade, the more angle you get. I'll use my mobile footage for a clearer picture. I've already completed the game on the mobile version. If you look at the left panel, you'll see the steering angles displaying. I'll install the Elite Grade front suspension arms. The mobile version has auto counter steering, just like the PC version. As you can see, I'm not spinning out easily. Both versions have the same physics mechanics. The only difference is that you earn money more easily in the PC version, and the UI is different as well. So basically, mobile players who have completed the game will understand Park Street mechanics very well. But we're not done yet. You can also experiment with other angle settings to find what suits your style, which will be unlocked after you install better parts. There's another issue with stock cars, they don't have much torque or power. To drift a stock car, you'll need to reduce your grip by downsize your rear wheels and maximize tire pressure. You can reduce your rear wheel size by installing low-profile tires and smaller rims. To maximize tire pressure, you need to go to the upgrade section, and there you can adjust tires pressure as you like. This will reduce grip, making it easier to drift. Now go back to the main tuning menu. You can see there's another tires option right there. This is different from what I just showed you a moment ago. In this section, you'll be able to change the tire grade, which will also impact the overall grip of your car. Racing tires are not ideal for drifting. I suggest using street or sport tires, depending on what you're comfortable with. I will try street tires this time. There are many more details about drift tuning, including transmission, suspension, tires, and weight. Just like you're seeing here, first gear won't do the trick for a stock car. What I've shown you today should be enough to start drifting as a beginner. I'll cover those later if enough people are interested. Oh, and you might want to install a welded differential for a drift car. Technically, a welded differential is good for drifting, while other differentials are good for racing. If you're interested in tuning a car, I made a video about suspension and weight distribution on my channel. You might want to check it out. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.